OK, so let's say I've got these three sequences and I don't know how many terms there are in each of these sequences. That's what I need to find n. Now, I can figure out a, the first term. I can figure out r, the common ratio. And then I'm going to have to employ this formula that we've been using for the nth term in order to determine what n, or which n, will get me and generate that term in the sequence. So let's have a look at number 1. a is clearly 4. The common ratio, we can do 6 divided by 4, so 3 halves. So the nth term of this sequence is a times r to the n minus 1. Now, the last term that we're looking at in this sequence is 19683 over 128, and that must be the nth term that we're looking for. Okay, what n will get me that? So I need to solve this equation. Okay, so the first thing that I would want to do is divide both sides by 4. So 19683 divided by 128. Uh, divided by 4 gets me 19683 over 512 and that is 3 halves to the n minus 1. Now in order to solve this equation it would probably be easier using logarithms. So going from an exponential equation to a logarithmic equation so that n minus 1 is log base 3 halves, that's your base value, of 19683 over 512. So log base 3 halves of 19683 over 512. And that's 9. So if n minus 1 equals 9, n must be equal to 10. OK, and so this is actually the tenth term, and so there are ten terms in sequence number one. OK, so that's the process that we would need to go through. So let's have a look at number two. So 5,000 is clearly the first term, and the common ratio, 250 divided by 5,000, OK, so 250 divided by 5,000 is 1 20th. So the common ratio is 1 20th. So the nth term is the first term, 5,000, times by the common ratio, 1 20th, to the power of n minus 1. So this term, 1 over 2, 5, 6, 0, 0, 0, must be equal to 5,000 times 1 over 20 to the n minus 1. So if we divide both sides by 5,000, we get 1 over 1, 2, 8. Now I need to make sure I get the correct number of zeros here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Just double check that. Seven. Yes, OK. So I've divided both sides by 5,000, which leaves me with this equation here. I now want to use logarithms. So n minus 1 is log base 1 20th of 1 over 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. OK. So pop that into the calculator. 1 over 1, 2, 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And that gets us 7. And so adding 1 to both sides means that n is 8. There must be 8 terms in the sequence for number 2. OK. Last one. 
Number three, we have a first term of 1.0001 and a common ratio clearly of three. Okay, multiplying by three each time. So the nth term, un, is a times by r to the n minus 1. So this 38745 must be 1.0001 times 3 to the n minus 1. And I need to solve this to get n. Now, I can't imagine that this is going to give me a nice number, but we'll go for it. Oh, not too bad. So, dividing both sides by the 1.0001, I get 387424. Sorry, not 24. 420489 is equal to 3 to the n minus 1. Now, log both sides. So, we have log base 3 of 3874204489 okay so pop that into your calculator 3874204489 and we get 18 so adding one to both sides means we have n is 19 there are 19 terms in sequence number 3